welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a video on packaging where i get my packaging how much packaging costs where you can get yours i know in the beginning when i first started my business which was literally two seconds ago <laughs> it was really, um i started my business and at the end of summer i was very confused didn't know where to get my stuff from and whatnot so i hope this video helps you if you're thinking about starting a business if you started a business and you still are trying to find where to get supplies and stuff so let me just make this intro short and let's just get on to the video oh that's like oh, what's her name rachel for rco now let's get on to the video <laughs> the first thing i'm going to talk about is bubble mailers where i get my bubble mailers from how much bubble mailers cost these are my pastel pink 6x10 bubble mailers these are my 4x8 hot pink bubble mailers i get both of these from amazon this one was about 16 dollars and this one was 10 dollars i got 50 of both these are the size differences that they look like size difference i really, really like these ones none of them had deep but this one though they do say that this is not see-through but i if i hold it up to the light i can see my hand through it slightly i don't know if you can see it on camera but i can kind of see my hand but they're still really good if that is a problem for you then i would suggest looking at a different bubble mailer set of bubble mailers but these this is just where i get mine from i know a lot a lot ugh. i know a lot of my um other small business friends get their packaging from you pack and ship and what's the other one you line i want to say um also amazon has really good prices for poly mailers if you use poly mailers instead of bubble mailers so yeah that's it for my bubble mailers next thing organza bags i get a hundred organza bags for i want to say they were eight dollars for a hundred of these again i get these from amazon i use these for my goodie bags these are my goodie bags this is what they look like in each goodie bag i have a sticker and some candies in there they're just super cute and every order gets this for free um i got my stickers from shein i did order stickers from amazon but they never came i got 50 stickers for three dollars and they're all pink and super cute they have on shein they have like a bunch of different color packs of stickers so say your business color is like yellow that's your main business color they have like a pack of like 100 stickers of just like yellow stickers mine is pink so i ordered pink ones of course i'm not going to order from shannon anymore because i've been seeing people say like they use children to make their stuff and stuff like shannon's just not a good company so i'm going to keep that in mind and next time order from someplace else for my stickers. I didn't know that before I placed the order, so yeah, that's just something to take note about. Also, a scale. I got my scale from Walmart. Um, if you want to do your own shipping, then you do need a scale. This is actually a kitchen scale, a digital cooking scale. This one cost me $4, $4 $14 from Walmart, um, but you can get one from Amazon. If you do have bigger packages, I would suggest getting like an actual like one for packaging. But this can read up to like, I wanna say, the max it can read up to is 11 pounds. But my packages never weigh more than six ounces. So that's why I use a kitchen scale. If you guys like sell smaller things like I do, like I sell lip scrubs, face masks, scrunchies, jewelry, I think I already said this, I'm not sure. Then I would suggest just getting a kitchen scale because they cost less instead of getting like one of the other ones. But you still can do that if you want, it's up to you. Next thing are my safety things the things that keep you safe face mask and gloves it is very important that you wear face mask and gloves um when you're packaging orders wear face masks and gloves and also wash your hands before you even put the gloves on also disinfectant spray i got this from walmart this is the only one that they had just disinfectant spray spray down every on um, your countertops whatever you're going to be packaging your orders on from um, these face masks I got from Ross for $12.50. You get these, they literally have like in the lines when you're going to go buy whatever you want. I like Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. They usually have like a pack of these like in the line. So you just pick one up there. I also saw these, they have them at Walgreens, CVS. I don't, whenever I go to Walmart or Target, I never see them there. They're always sold out. But yeah, check like Ross or something. You'll be surprised. They have them literally all the time, at least the, places where i go they also have them at the nail supply store i don't know if it's like a different type of mask or whatever or 
what but they have like huge boxes for like twelve dollars at the nail supply store i live in tampa so i go to la nail supply but yeah my lips are kind of dry hold on they're feeling mad crusty who else puts on two lip glosses i know i can't be the only one but okay continuing business cards business cards so i pick i Put out my business cards from um oh what's upside down i think it's upside down this is my business card it's super cute so i designed my business cards using the app business print business card it's gonna be over here <laughs> it's gonna be over here somewhere um it's an app on your phone that you can download i have an iphone i don't know if it's available for other phones it was completely free that's why i designed my business cards on i printed them from businessprint.com um like i said it will be in the link in the description it was only nine dollars for a hundred i know vistaprint even fifteen dollars for a hundred so this is just a cheaper option for you it does take longer than vistaprint i think mine took like maybe 20 days to come another option since i had to wait so long for my business cards to come are to use these these are the avery um business card little pieces of paper this is just what it looks like you put this in your printer you can print it out um upload your design you go through their your, the, the you go through their website um choose the correct template it has the template name right template number right here and you upload your design your image that you want and then you can just print them out yourself i find it more expensive to print it out yourself because of the cost of ink um ink is not cheap so that's why i print these out from someone else i don't print my cards out myself also these look better it's just it's glossier i got the matte one <sighs> get right right here but I got the matte ones. If they have a glossy one, I suggest I would suggest the glossy one because this one kind of just looks like cardstock paper. If you like matte, then by all means do that. But I personally like glossier things. Next thing, my thank you cards. So I printed out my thank you cards from Staples. This is what my thank you cards look like. I designed this myself for free using the app Canva. I did end up using the free trial to get the delete background effect. I want you to see my discount code case you haven't ordered from me yet. So that um, if you can see the little phone on here, so I can get the delete background effect on my phone. I think it's so cool. I was so proud of myself that I was able to do that. I did that by myself. I did that. Like I said, I designed this myself using the app Canva. It's completely free. If you want to pay monthly for it, it is like $13 a month. You could do everything using Canva. You can make emails, you can make brochures, you can make thank you cards, business cards, labels for your packaging. So like my labels for my lip scrubs, I designed it um, using Canva. You can literally use Canva for everything. So I kind of think the price is worth it if you want to pay monthly for it. So I printed mine out at Staples. I paid $8. Okay. <sighs> I'm, I'm getting so ahead of myself. So I printed mine out at Staples. I went into Staples physically because the website was too confusing for me. I was just going to get 32 thank you cards. It had little small imperfections on it, little white dots on some of these. So the lady ended up printing out double for me for the price of the eight sheets. So I ended up getting 16 sheets, 64 business cards for the price of 32. Also, you can use Shutterfly, the app. Right now they're using, they have an offer for free four by sixes, I think, four by six or four by eight. So I would suggest that for a thank you card. I think that's a good size for a thank you card. You only have to pay for shipping. The shipping does go up. Um, as the amount that you add to your cart. I ended up adding like 200 to my cart and it was only $21. So I don't think that's bad. 200 thank you cards for $21. That's not a bad price at all. The offer is only on the app. Next, shredded paper. I get my shredded paper from Dollar Tree. I use this as fillers and my packaging. I've also seen people get the little pup, uh, paper cutters and they use like their scrap paper, recycled paper, and they just cut out a bunch of little whatever design that they want and they put the S fillers in theirs. Oh, these containers, these little lip scrub containers, these are actually supposed to be like jewelry containers, I think, but I use them for my lip scrubs and I got these from Michaels for $10 for 12. Also, if you're ever going to Michaels or Joann's, 
always look for coupon perks because they always have coupons. Also, if you sign up for the Michaels Rewards Program, you get $5 every $25 you spend. It's completely free to sign up for the Rewards Program, so I suggest that you do that. That's that on that. Um, oh, the little baggies that I put my earrings in, I get these from Walmart for, I think, $2.30. You get like 50 of these for $2. And then I also have a bigger size. These are still like $2.50 or whatever to put my lip scrub in. I put my lip scrub in this little baggie just to protect it for any possible leaking. I never get leaking, but like just in case. It could be that one time maybe the packaging people just throw it a little too hard. Now for my other things that I package, like I said multiple times in this video, I sell face masks and scrunchies. So here's some of my face masks I have. I package these using tissue paper. I used to use a plastic bag the size of like, you see the, the bag that the plastic bags are in? I used to ha have plastic bags like this size and put them in there. But I was like, that's just so much plastic. Like I already used bags for these. Like I don't wanna have more plastic, you know? And I just wrap my face mask up in some tissue paper. I really, really like this one because it has like little sparkly, dots on it <laughs> um, but you can get tissue paper from anywhere um this tissue paper i don't know where i got it from because i'm still using tissue paper that we just had at home we have so much white and pink tissue paper which is perfect because those are the colors of my brand but you can get tissue paper from anywhere they have it at marshall's tj maxx ross the dollar tree walmart target walgreens cvs Tissue paper is literally everywhere. You can also order it from Amazon. They have a bunch of good offers on Amazon for like a bunch of tissue paper. But I still haven't run out yet, so I haven't had to buy any like myself for my business. That's just where you can get some tissue paper. Oh, wait, last thing. My stickers. I print out my own stickers on my computer, my printer. Um, I ordered sticker paper from Amazon. I think I got like 100 sheets for about $8. I also use this paper for printing out my labels on. Um, labels print out on half the sheet, so I just flip it upside down and use the other side to print out another label. I print out my own stickers, I cut them out myself. I do suggest though, putting your brand, try putting your branding on everything, every any part of your packaging that you could customize, do it. On my bubble mailers, I put um, my brand sticker in the center, or on this side actually, I put a sticker right in the center of it. But just to make your stuff more custom and people know your brand, get more familiar with your brand, put like, where you can customize customize also stamps stamps are a good way to customize your own things and i think that's about it guys i think i went through everything just about everything of my packaging where i get my packaging how i package my stuff well i didn't really say how i package my stuff but uh <laughs> just where i get my stuff i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up share like comment comment down below what you want to see from my channel but yeah follow me on my socials and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys later. Bye.